if it's a Gerald's Genta original movement or does somebody else uh, recognize this movement? I am really not sure. I see some influences of other brands. Uh, especially springs like these. And now you can see I am kind of convinced if you see these springs and I am just filling in what, uh, what I think the maker of the springs on the dial side wouldn't dream of producing springs like these. These screw heads are beautiful black polish in one plane, completely flat. That's why you get the beautiful shine black polish. All the light is reflected, uh, no light is reflected back in the eye, so it looks black. And all the light is reflected just like a mirror, it looks white. What Patin is saw immediately is that this screw head isn't reflecting the light in one plane. So it might be over tightened, yeah. Well, I'm convinced there is no power back in the main left in the mainspring. So I'm going to remove automatic winding system first, then this cover. This cover is over this cover. And then lastly we do that one. What are your thoughts of this movement? Uh, please leave comments. I read every single one of them. But this is such a journey, I never expected this level of watchmaking. The main barrel. I think you agree. Oh, oh, look at that. Ah, icing on the cake. A jewel for the Wisselaar. Look at that, that is beautiful. But do you agree that the maker of the springs on the dial side is never ever going to produce a spring like these? No chance, no chance at all. I love this extra jewel. Well, automatic winding module, main barrel, here was teeth look okay of this wheel. It is in need of a good clean. Look at this. Maybe this was, if it's hard, maybe that was jammed in between this wheel and the pinion. And remaining the gear train. Well, with a cross sharp screwdriver you leave all the screws intact while working on them. Well. It is so thin, so beautifully designed beautifully executed 
Wow. And as all well, most of the time, the real beauty is on the inside of the watch. I thought I saw a fiber. And interesting, the extra wheel. Oh, there's a crack in the wheel. Nee. Boulder guides. I think it's an optical illusion. I really do hope it's not an optical illusion. But the extra wheel is interesting. Heavy pivots for such delicate wheels. Pivots seem okay. Everywhere you look, there is beauty. And here's some excess lubrication. Bye, Blenny. Maybe the fi Joe, Joe, yeah, uh, maybe the fiber, fiber I saw. I think the fiber isn't hard enough to get into the uh, uh, well pinion. The level of watchmaking. Even the amount of parts. I think it's the. Height of Swiss watchmaking. Well, simply because of the elegance. It is so beautiful. Absolute height in watchmaking. And without boasting of sounding horrible, we do well quite a bit of uh, Patek over here and Vacheron and Breguet even, even the original Breguet. But I was simply blown away by the uh, the execution of this. It doesn't get more delicate or beautiful, beautiful stuff. Wow. So many parts, so many breathtakingly Beautiful parts. There we are. Well, I really had to concentrate on this one. Well, if you just joined, may I suggest you can look at the start of the stream because this movement was insane so beautiful there we go all of you thank you so much for watching <laughs>